going guys welcome back to the channel so this is going to be our second skate vlog series of three so this is episode one of skate vlog number two with our u15 AA ancaster goalies so both of these goalies are fairly new to working with me so we're working a lot on skating structure and you can see in this video do a lot of kind of coaching in the practice so this is different than anything at the facility this is a this is a practice session so you can see there's a lot of different things that we're working on, but the biggest thing is a little bit of skating structure and then a little bit of backflow pace. So hopefully you guys get something out of this. You can learn something. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the questions below, in the comments, sorry, or hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, or send me an email to coachbujan at hotmail.com. Okay, until we get really, really good at this, we're going to do this because you guys both struggle with that forward T-push. Do you remember what we're calling that forward T-push? We gave it a name, so it's tuffle. Good. I didn't, I didn't think you would. Okay, so you missed the four dot drill. So dot, 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 dot. So we start in the post. So yeah, it's a little, little T-push set. Okay, now we go dot to dot. So give me a little bit of room. So turn the chest, little T-push out, set. You can see I'm not way out my white ice. Now I'm going dot to dot, T-push set, shuffle, little retreat. Okay, we come out this way. Little T-push set, tuffle. T push, shuffle, little retreat. Okay, four dot drill. Got it? Who wants to go first? We'll do one each way, okay? Set, good, eyes, chest. Good. We always have our stick that high in our stance when we're skating? Or is that just a today thing? You always have that? Well, we can get a longer one. Okay, I'm just asking. If it works for you, we'll work with it. Okay. Good. Just make sure we don't miss that entry. See how you hit your foot on the outside? We got we to gotta be able to feel that. Ready, Miss, Miss Brower? You're struggling with this. Come here. Okay, so go, go from face-off dot. Okay, and stay here. Okay, now if we look to the next location, we turn our chest and move in a straight line. That means we're going to go straight out. You have a tendency to move this way and then try to come back. Okay, watch my chest, okay? So I'm going from dot one, look at my chest, you're looking at your feet. Dot two, right there. See, now where am I square to? The next position, okay? From here. What you do is you look at the dot, but your chest is now facing this way. And then now you're moving towards the middle of the ice instead of the location we're trying to go to which is the puck so from here to here see how i had no sideways momentum i had no sideways movement nothing came off the puck okay let's try that again we're gonna do this all year this is a very easy drill better Two sets. Stay deep on the stay stay deep on the C cut leak. Right there. Now get to the top of the crease. Here. Set. T push. Butterfly. Full recovery. T push. Set. Lateral release. Pivot. Full recovery. And hinge. Yeah. I'm still down. Place. No, you're gonna. Yeah, you're gonna. No, you're gonna get up, pivot, and then hinge back. So full recovery, no slides. No. No. Because we haven't done enough butterflies to warm up your hips yet. That I don't want you doing RVHs yet. Okay. Ready? Go. Tuffle, butterfly, full recovery, lateral release. Full pivot, full recovery, up. Good, just like that. Yes. Eyes, good. One more.
Good. If that puck is coming into my body, that means my head is moving somewhere. When we did the, our go saves here, both of you just went straight down and did this. Head didn't move. So if we're making a low blocker, head comes down, head goes out. If we're making a low glove, head comes down, head goes out. Okay, so let's do one more each way. And I want to see head movement on our saves. Okay. Track down, little, okay. Now, you're making a block of save, right? So a little bit of an extension, and here, there. Now, full recovery. Flat, lateral release, same thing. Okay, where's, you're making a block of save, so track down. Good, full recovery back in the post. That a girl, perfect. Better. No, they're both blocker saves, because think about where your recoveries are going. Okay, right? Low glove, extension, good, but now put them together. Connect those dots. Good. Good, Miss Brower, let's go. So on the first one, you're making two low blocker saves. So I want to see a little bit of an extension on the blocker leg. So actually mimic making a low blocker save. Okay. Little tuffle. Save, low blocker. But pad save. And... That's better. Good. Good head movement. Low glove save. Recover. Lateral release. Low glove save. Good. That's better. Tegan. Let's get a little bit of back flow. Don't just be stationary. Out and get a little back flow. Out, out early. Yeah, get your butt out there. And get a little back flow. Okay, so we're out, we're set, and then we get a little bit of back flow. Okay, make sure we're not overplaying. We're staying in that blue, all right? Control your depth and control your back your back flow pace. Nope, start on your goal line. Start on your goal line. You don't know who's coming first. Now find a post. Get up. Good. Okay, once you hang on. Hang on. Make sure we start in the middle of the net because we don't know who's coming first. So we don't know which post to tap. So just start here, and then once we see F1 enter, find her post, step out, and get set. Good? <clears throat> okay, the girl in the gray shirt, that one who shot on you first, yeah. that girl has taken 15 shots today. Every shot has gone glove side. She will never shoot anywhere other than glove. Do not let her score. Like, you know she's shooting glove. It doesn't matter where she is on the ice, she's only gonna shoot glove. I want you to make sure you're following the pass like when they go from high to low and low to high. Follow the play out, follow it out. Good, now control your back flow. Slow, slow, slow. You had no back flow. Your starting point was good. Look at me, you were here. But you got to get a little bit of backflow. What if she comes in and deeks you, right? You got to have a little bit of backflow. Out. That's better. Hit the net. And I keep saying control your backflow, and you keep getting set. All right? When the play moves away from you. Okay. So like, say pass from the corner, say to the top of the circle, or to the slot. Right? When the puck is moving away from you, we want to get set. The puck is moving laterally. I have to get set. But if they're carrying the puck towards me, I can't be set. I have to have a little bit of back flow. Okay? Because I know if back door plays develop or they find an opening and they beat 2D and it, they're moving and try to drag me across, I need a little bit of that back flow to give me more lateral speed. You come out and you're set here. That's good if they shoot, but we have to understand that they might not shoot. They have other options as players. So we have to be ready for all those options. So that's why I keep saying to you, 
back flow, back flow, back flow. Okay? The trick with back flow is making sure that I'm not way out here and then having to back up really, really fast. That's why I'm teaching you to be here and back up really slow. Okay, but I need that back flow. Got it? Sure. Pause this. Okay, I see it. Go. Oh. Hey, no back flow, and you got beat on a deep. Floating back, is that what we're gonna call it, floating? I'm good with whatever, whatever word makes sense to you. If it's floating, that's good. You're gonna float back before they shoot, not while they're shooting, so that you've, you're just kind of, like, you're floating back as they shoot, you're able to move. Okay, so you gotta start floating back earlier. I don't understand how I'm supposed to, like, go back. Okay, it's a good question. Okay. Just go to, go to the top of the crease, like in the middle, in the slide. Okay, just get a little bit of backflow. That's it. Right. Yeah, but, but then you're like in the middle. Well, yeah, you want it. You want to be. That's why you start here and then you back up to here, because we don't want to be here, right? You have to understand that this is a position that I do not want to stay in. This is a position that I start at but I want to be here when they shoot. If I start here, and then I get a little bit of backflow by the time they shoot, I'm now, watch out, Maddie. Now I'm here, and we, we understand that this is probably deeper than you want to be, right? You want to make your saves right here. So that means if we're going to get backflow, we have to start here and back up. What I don't want you guys to do is I don't want you to come out to here because now to get to here, I have to back up really fast. The slower I can back up, the easier it is to control my pace and make saves. Okay? So, on that play, when they made that little lateral feed, right, you could get to here, little stop, right to here. That's it. Does that look like it was really hard for me to do? Yeah, but then you have to make the save after. You have to make, you're going to have to make saves in games as we're backing up. Yeah, you're going to have to make saves like this in games. Two on ones, three on twos, breakaways. All of those plays or all of those situations are plays where I'm going to have to be making saves with backflow. But in the game, it's easy to do that, but for some reason, I can't do it here. Well, we have to. Right? We have to practice those situations in games, or in practice for games. But a breakaway, you're going to have backflow? Yes. Two on one, you can have backflow? Oh, yeah. Three on two? Less so, but yes. Okay? Two on two. Anytime they're skating the puck in, we should have a little bit of backflow. Okay? And if that's something that you're struggling with, we'll work on that next time we have we have a private lesson and I'll explain you a little bit more. I can pull videos too. If there's stuff that I'm showing you guys that is confusing or doesn't make sense, tell me like that and I'll pull NHL clips of guys doing that and show you. Well, like, it makes sense like how you explain it. It's just not like my brain. Well, well, I'll keep hounding you. It's going to be super annoying. It's going to be really, really annoying. Okay, we probably need a goalie down there. So... Hurry up. Good, that was better. That was better. Okay, you still touched and then faded back. You went control and then backed up. Now don't back up. Good. Hey, good read. No goal. Control her. Cover it. Let go of the stick if it's tied up. 